Okay, today we're going to be double uploading. We have a video at 5 o'clock, which is the one that you're currently seeing right now. And we also have a one coming at 6 o'clock in an hour's time. This video will be showing off all of the new battle pass, all the new additions like cosmetics and stuff like that. And in the second video in an hour's time will be the new Galil or the Farah 83. That's the gameplay you're currently seeing in the background right now. If you do want to see that and you do like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, put on your notification bell so you get notified when this next video gets uploaded. Yeah, let's go into it. Okay, let's see what's new, shall we? We know about the outbreak mode and everything like that. Apocalypse 24-7. So Apocalypse is a new map. Gun game. Sick. Outbreak event. Oh, okay. It's like the rebirth event. I mean... Do you know what? Which is really weird that I like this. It's, like, it's probably the smallest change in the whole game. I do really like the attachments popping up. Now, these, these attachments here. Yeah, that's quite cool. Okay, let's go through what we get in the outbreak, see how we do them, and then we'll go through the battle pass and the weapons and stuff like that. Gas mask charm, fair enough. Nice little calling card. It's free, I guess. Oh, yes. Okay. Bloody bleach. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, it's weird because unless that's reactive, I don't really like it, but it, it kind of looks like it should be reactive on the straps. If it's reactive, I think that would be quite cool, but I can't see it without it. Some more stickers, okay. More st emblems. A another really cool charm. Another cool sticker, I guess. Decent calling cards. I mean, we don't really want to see the calling cards, do we? Just, just for your guys' sake, I'll show you the calling cards. Sticker, sticker. Oh, okay. So we're getting creepy. Okay, another really cool. The charms, so far, are very good. And I really like that calling card as well. Something I've just realised, which everyone's probably screaming at me as well. There's an Outbreak skin, which is the Sniper. There's also a Warzone skin as well. So, underneath each of the things it says Outbreak and one says Warzone. The Warzone ones, you get the pistol when you completely unlock them all. Which matches the Sniper on the Outbreak if you completely unlock them all. So, that's why there's 18 in total and there's only, you only need 9 to complete it. I thought that was a bargain. Whether there's something you get to complete them all, I'm not too sure. Okay, so we've gone through the Outbreak event. So, you've got... Oh, okay. So, exclusive store bundles, which I'll have a look in a bit. Outbreak, a massive new open world zombies experience. Fight, explore, scavenge, loot, and survive. If you haven't seen the trailer to it, I'll pop a link to it in the description. And then, Zombies in Warzone. The crashing into ship brought Verdansk under siege by hordes of zombies. Okay, so there's actually zombies in Warzone. Okay. What was the battle pass? How's it work? We know what battle pass does. Oh, there's a reactive camo. Okay. I, I am going to buy it. I don't know if I have enough cod to skip 20 tiers. I, I don't normally, but because I want to make content on one of the weapons now, I'm going to do it. So we've got Naga and we also have... Okay. So we've got Naga, which I just showed you. Then we have Savot. This is a very nice skin and I feel like people are going to be rocking this. I know I am, but the only reason I think they are, as well as it just looks cool, is because she looks quite skinny, so her hitbox is going to be quite small. And, uh, you know, people running around with the Black Rose skin. Well, in Safari Watch, you've got more stickers, more calling cards. I mean, we don't really care about the stickers right now, do we? A nice emblem, to be fair. A cool bullfrog skin. Looks pretty good. I like duct tape. It's weird. I really like the kind of scavenge look on guns. Cod credits. Rubbish vehicle skin, <laughs> emblem. That's actually a pretty cool skin. I like how the skins in this season, as what I've seen so far, aren't like crazy over the top. They're just like kind of casual skins. Okay, we've got a reticle. So this is the new gun, which is the Farah 83, which is the Galil. If you haven't used the Galil previously in other cards, so this is the Galil. I will be using it as soon as I can, and I'll probably buy the 20 tiered skips just so I can use it straight away and start leveling up for you guys. Then we've got an animated calling card, pretty suave. Another decent skin. I mean, it's just white, isn't it? That is a that is a very cool. That is a very very cool animation. But I feel like it's going to be used a lot because the the TTK, the time to kill, looks quite fast, and you're rolling. So I'm assuming you actually have to hit you while rolling. So you're going to be a part of target to hit when you're assassinating somebody or eliminating somebody. So I feel like that's going to be used quite a lot. I know I'm going to be using that if I can. Okay, an Adler skin. Fair enough. A decent stoner? A decent stoner skin. I mean, it's just green at the end of the day, isn't it? Another Barrett skin. Once again, it's just it's just green camo. 
another green camo skin. Now this is what we're talking about. We want something different like this, like how this changes the, the stock and stuff. I mean, I will not run this. Tell me what you think in the comments. But in my opinion, this skin, the thing that ruins it for me is the stock and the leather parts of the gun. So the, the chrome and gold stuff looks all right. But the serpent grip, the 40 round speed mag, and also the SAS combat stock looked quite dead in my opinion with the leather. But oh well. But that's the stuff we want to see. That's the different stuff we want to see. Okay, we got a... Ooh. It's a decent skin. I'm not too sure about the nose <laughs> on the gas mask. I know it's a weird thing, but it kind of looks like a blobfish to me. Um, yeah. This is the second new weapon, the IC-10. Now, this one is meant to be a lot better damage for long range and really good accuracy. Although it doesn't have, like, SMG damage. I think it, a lot of people are describing it as the closest to an AR and SMG's ever been. And that's right up my alley. I mean, I'm use I use the KSP quite a lot. The KSP is even my uh, it's the showcase weapon because I just love it so much. If you guys want to see that, I might put out some content using the KSP after we've kind of used both the new weapons. I really like this calling card. Okay, we've got another we've got another Fitbit watch, a Milano skin. The problem is, at the end of the day, it's just plain. Like I want something out there. I want something different. Like just a stand camo, I guess. Another, like, the only thing that's different is the clothes, which is good. The clothes different, that's good. It's just camo at the end of the day. But it does look good. And if you do complete the battle pass anyway, you get all your COD points back to buy a basic season pass next season. So, should be alright. So, this is similar to the other ones where I said it's just plain. But this is the exception. This is purely black and it looks beautiful as it's like a metallic straight black, like a stainless steel metallic black. And I feel like if you put any skin on this, hopefully the camo will react to it and it will look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. Okay, so we've got a Black Ops 2 mixtape. I think this is the OG. Oh, if this... <laughs> yes. I'm going to play each of these one time for you guys just so you know what it sounds like. This is the one I'm going to be rocking 100%. <laughs> Still really good. Okay. So that's the Black Ops 2 War Track mixtape section. That's pretty good. Okay, I like the Raider stock on that. I like the feather, I don't know why. And I really like the, I think that's like a rangefinder sticker on the side of the gun as well. I like that. A new reticle, okay. I really, really like that calling card, okay. We're not here for the calling cards, we're here for the skins. It goes well with the cherry blossom KSP that I have. I mean, it's good. I think this skin's going to be used quite a lot because it's just one of those skins. So we've got another emblem. We've got an RPD, which looks okay. It looks pretty good, I guess. I'm not too sure about its charm. I think it sticks out a bit too much. So it's a KSP. <gasps> We've got a banging KSP. And it's got the ancient suppressor on it. Okay, so this is what I want to get into. I use the KSP a lot. And this is the type of thing I'm talking about skins. Although I am a little bit biased because I do love the KSP so much. This is the type of stuff I want to see more often. A jaded dragon idol skin. Look how nice that is and it's got okay attachment on it as well it's not like you'll, you'll get this skin just for the base variant and take off all the attachments you'll keep the agency on the extended may stay on i'm not too sure i think it'll probably change the task force i'll be honest with you mainly the only attachment you really need is the agency suppressor and that's the thing that's jaded so that's great i really like this skin we'll see how it looks in game but i really like this then we got a death brick <laughs> rubik's cube sticker okay all right, okay. I've been using the revolver a lot to level it up. So I can get the Akimbo version, which is meant to be very good. A video should be coming soon unless they nerf that. This has got good attachments on it. And it looks very different to the original. I think it's maybe just because of the ridges in the barrel. But it does look very good. Is this... This looks like Back to the Future Marty McFly skin. Like, it fully does. Tattoo reticle. Okay, that's weird. Just a camo watch. Decent Hellhound calling card. This is really good for the Zombies fans. This whole seasonal event right now is just zombie fans' wet dream. Like, honestly. Decent Org. Another sticker. It's alright. Flamingo Charm. I really like that, actually. 
This skin looks very good. Now, I don't want to be that guy to think so sweaty about everything all the time. But that head hitbox is going to be big. So, I don't think many people are going to rock it. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with the new skins, man. It's got decent attachments on it as well. Not the best, not the worst attachments. But, once again, it's got the AUC suppressor, which is the main thing you need to worry about. I may have to start using the Krig just for this skin when I unlock it. I'm not going to play these songs because they are 100% copyrighted. But you can see what songs they are on here. Another sticker. I really like this skin. This is what I want to see. I want to see more artwork. I want to see something different. Like, this is good. I like this. Another okay skin. I mean, so far, we haven't seen the best stuff. The only thing about this gun that I really like is that magazine. A nice jar as well. Nice to go with gold skins if you don't have diamonds. Different skin. I really like it. And the stock is built in. We've got a really cool sticker, actually. I don't use stickers, unfortunately, on most of my guns, other than the Prestige Master one. We've got a free reticle, which looks weird. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This, this. Please take note. I, own, I know it's only duct tape, but it looks so good. Like, this is what we want to see. And if the duct tape stays on it, and you put any other skin, and just the yellow and the black changes... If you put any other skin on that, that would look beautiful. Another skin. This one, I like. Actually, a pretty cool calling card that will go with my emblem. A lot of the time, I don't know if I'm the only one who does it, but a lot of the time, I love to use my emblem and my calling card to look to match. If that makes sense. But we've got another Rolex. I'm just going to show you the songs. I'm not going to actually play them. I'm going to come back to this right at the end because I think that looks too good. I haven't seen a charm that reacts before. I might be wrong, but the eye is glowing, and I haven't seen that before. I really do like that. As I'm reading that, I'm just looking at the description at the bottom left, and it just says, do not, for whatever reason, look into the eyes of the Golden Viper charm. I have a really big feeling this is going to be Morse code. I'm not good at Morse code, but that is Morse code. I'm telling you now, I'm calling it out. That's Morse code. We got a serpent emblem, which looks really good. I like that. And we have the final tier 99 and tier 100 skins before we go back to that reactive camo. It looks very good. And the thing I like is the attention to detail that it has on it. The two watches next to its belt either means that it's a common thief, but it's not, clearly. Or it's actually killed people for this and it wears people's stuff that it's killed. So I have a feeling all that jewellery and stuff is not bought. It's taken from dead people. You know what, I, I can mess with this skin, 100%. And then we have the final tier 100, which is the the new SMG. It has a really nice, it's really nice skin on it. And it's water as well. It's got like water droplets on it. I really like this skin. It's a shame it's not reactive because I think they can do a lot with that. It doesn't look like it's got the best of attachments, but it's got a really nice base skin. So, And then we have a vehicle skin. That is... Actually looks very good, the gilly vehicles again, I can't like it. And then you have just the basic charm. But the thing that everyone came here for, the new reactive skin. Okay, so we've got multiplayer kills, three kills, six kills. This is where you get nine kills. And when you have 12 kills multiplayer. Then there's also zombies, so 50 kills, 100 kills, 150, and 200. Both the multiplayer reactive and the zombies reactive both look the same. It's just different thresholds, obviously. But yeah, that's the full battle pass. I'm going to quickly grab the tier 20 battle pass. I wouldn't normally recommend getting the 20 tiers if you're going to play the game. But as I want to make content on the new on the new AR today, I'm going to have to get the 20 tiers. Unless I grind all day and I won't have time editing or anything. A better animation than we've seen, to be honest. I completely forgot to record the footage of it, but there is also a new melee weapon, which is the machete. The machete you can buy in the store as part of a bundle. You can also unlock it via a challenge. The challenge is to earn a backstabber medal in 15 different matches. So a melee from behind and you will get the machete. It's not a variant of the normal knife. It is a brand new melee weapon. But yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Like if you like, dislike if you disliked. Pump this video up today because it is a brand new season. I'm just showing everybody what you have for the new season content. If you don't want to miss out on any updates on COD, make sure you subscribe. Also turn notifications. Should be uploading 6 o'clock every single day. But if you do turn on notifications, you do get a notification when I upload. All my socials and the links to which are in the description below as well. Casey Boy 001 for everything as always. But yeah, till next time. Peace.